if you ever go to the store and you buy clothes and it still has this on there, that is how you take it off with two forks. I mean, it's coming off because see, it's so open. This is some crook ass shit. Hi guys welcome back to my channel it's morning time and today is saturday so it is the weekend i'd stay forgetting what day we're on it because honestly they all just feel like the same and i feel like once you have a holiday too everything just feels like the weekend or like a sunday so i'm trying to scramble here to finish eating breakfast but as we know it i'm on here all the time when i'm scrambling I'm scrambling trying to eat breakfast and then to like finish getting ready and then to like finish getting ready so that i can leave all i'm wearing right now is my undershirt so I need to hurry, eat, put on my scrub, put on my shoes and blaze out the door. But everything else is ready and I wanted to pop in and start the vlog. Good morning, happy Saturday and welcome to the vlog. Hi guys, today's my day off and initially I planned on spending my entire day off at home in bed. But I've decided that I'm going to run to the laundromat quickly because I don't really have a lot of stuff to wash. But I don't want to wait until... It gets to too much to where I'm annoyed and I don't want to walk with the laundry basket. So I'm going to go over there and wash the two little things that I do have really quickly and then come back and stay in bed all day. So, um, yeah. This is my fourth one. These are so good. 30 grams, 110 calories, oh my god. It's currently 10.30, so I wanna kinda knock this out from early. Y'all can barely see me because I'm all the way over on this other side. Have a mask, have the quarters because that machine works with quarters. I need to now put my purse, my AirPods and stuff. And I already have everything that I am gonna wash. I need to put some soap in there because I have the big container of soap. That is also going out, but I need to just squirt some on there before I go over there. I want to take this comforter off, but I think I'll just go back another evening after work and wash, like, the comforter and the sheets and stuff because I don't want the bag to be too heavy, like I said. So maybe, like, Thursday. <clears throat> oh, go. This is what my little laundry bag looks like, so it's very easy to carry and, oh, how aesthetically pleasing. The colors are so on brand. So I need to get a different jacket to wear. But like I was saying, I've just been going around picking up <laughs> additional stuff that I'm also adding to like the laundry bag to take with me. But it's fine because I'm going anyway, so why not? Phone. And normally I'd leave, but I'm going to just sit there in the stem and just wait. Because it's cold and I'm not doing all that. Don't want to go back and forth today. This mask is not looking very clean. I need to put my Crocs on because I'm going to wear my Crocs. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I come back. Hi, guys. So it is currently, what time is it? 12, 15. So pretty much an hour and a half later and I'm done with the laundry. So love that for me. Things are nice and clean and we're happy and they're folded. I didn't just throw them inside of the thing. I actually folded them, which that is big. I was looking for this jacket to wear, but when I got to the laundromat, I found out that it was in the bottom, so that was dirty. So we washed that, and I pretty much just watched a couple of videos the entire time that I was there for, and that was very exciting. So now I'm home. I'm gonna put away the laundry. I should eat one more of this smart candy or whatever the hell it is. These are just so good. So peachy and so good. That is also the only thing I've eaten all morning, so I need to find something to eat. My other manager just called me asking if I could work today. No, I said I had the laundromat. And I didn't think I would be done in time to go and I feel like I'm gonna go to my other job on Saturday, so I'm like, nah, I'm gonna take this one day off, man. So now that I'm done, <clears throat> I'm gonna put away the laundry and crawl into this bed hi y'all so it's nighttime. i as you guys can clearly see went through 
washed my hair and braided it back up i was actually contemplating on if i wanted to like keep my hair out or if i wanted to put it back up but honestly it's cold and i feel like it's better that i do put it up so i ended up washing rebraiding and you know it's ready to go so i have fresh braids for the next two or three weeks this time i think i kept it in for like three weeks so I have fresh braids for the next three weeks and then I'll take it down and wash it again and maybe I'll wear it out then or like straighten it. I was out also saying that on my Insta stories. Well, my wig is also ready because normally when I take my hair down and like wash my hair on my day off, so I'll wash my hair. So on my day off, I extend the same courtesy to my wig. This week, however, I did not curl it. Like I left it like that and I really like the subtle like waves that it has going on. I feel like you guys are not really able to see. Anyways, I love the subtle waves that it has going on for it, but it's black, so it's kind of hard to see. Y'all probably won't be able to tell until, like, tomorrow when I put it on or whatever, but I have it washed, and, like, I'm pretty much winding down. I made some baked sweet potato with some um, curry chicken, and I just put some in a container for my lunch tomorrow. Let me show you guys. So, it's in the container for my lunch tomorrow. I'm going to wrap this fork and put it inside of the bag. So, tomorrow, everything is ready to go. So, um... That's pretty much what I have going on at the moment, and I have my queue set up on YouTube as usual. So, I'm gonna just spend the rest of the night watching a few videos until I'm almost ready to go to my bed, then I'm in the shower. Tonight, I might go to bed late, because obviously tomorrow I don't start until like 9.30, so I'd normally give myself enough time to stay up until late. I think I might have something to drink. I'm currently not really clothed, but what's new? I'm gonna just put this in here right now since I'm here. I think I'm gonna make some cereal for breakfast tomorrow. This light over me is not doing me any justice. Also need to put the rest of the curry chicken in the fridge so we're gonna see if it can fit. Yep, it actually fits. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh, I said, see I'm wearing this little sports bra. I said I'm gonna allow myself to have a drink so we're gonna do that. Whip out a nice little wine glass because why not? I have wine in the fridge, but I also have this sorrel. I think I'm gonna go for the sorrel tonight. I've really been liking it, and normally this thing here I never really drink. So there's that. I'll put y'all over here. Oh my oh gosh, the crust and the bust. Listen, while I'm here talking and everything, the camera is clearly indicating that since I'm dying. And I'm just ignoring the signs. So there's a little Hennessy on here. I'm going to just tip a little bit of it inside of the um. Okay, that's not really a little bit. TV just randomly started playing. I had something going in its paws. So I'm going to have this and while I watch a YouTube video or two. And I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good. <clears throat> I just bought these boy shorts at Burlington and they left the tag on so I pulled up a YouTube video really quickly to you know try and see if I could take it off and the girl said you need two forks and the thing she said two forks and the clothes to take off the shop tag now again I bought these I purchased these I paid for these with my own money however somebody in the store was not paying attention and left it on there. So what she was pretty much saying is you're going to put the forks opposite like this with both backs facing. We are going to put one underneath the clothes first and kind of like wait for it to pop. God, please don't make my forks. I think mine already popped a little because I was trying to like, oh, you see it's under there. I was trying to like pull it apart. Oh god, how is this gonna work? Please don't make this leave a big hole inside of my thing. The fact that I have to be doing this. Listen. Do this only if you paid for the clothes. Because if you didn't pay for it, that's ghetto. It's very ghetto. But this is the second time something like this happened to me. The first video that I had found, I don't even know if that video was useful. Because I would have probably tried doing it that way again. So... Probably was not useful. I'm trying to slide. One fork is already in there. So 
So I'm trying to slide. the other one in there but I'm also trying not to break the forks I feel like look as long as this thing here comes off I'm good I hope this is not one of this is so annoying okay so one that direction she said that she had the other one right behind it so I have the fork underneath there. I'd already ripped through one of the board shorts. So I'm already gonna say, I don't know if it's worth it. Like I'm really trying to save my, myself a trip to the store. I mean, it's coming off. Cause see, it's so open. This is some crook ass shit. Okay, so now the, both of them are underneath there, okay? The forks are back to back and I'm kind of just pressing them together. That's what homegirl did. Probably not doing this right, but this is so ghetto. This girl probably tried this so many times before she filmed the goddamn video, honestly. But it's like opening up because. Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. I can't make it come off. Okay, there's a massive hole, but <laughs> so if you ever go to the store and you buy clothes and it still has this on there, that is how you take it off with two forks. This is ridiculous. You know, the forks have seen better days, but they look fine. That's it and that's all.